so this is Paperboy 2. This is our fourth and final game for the Amiga Zill Wheel on the Wednesday. Let's begin. And I did actually own this game. I'm not sure. I think it was unfortunately a cracked copy. We didn't have the full game. It was one of those games where we didn't really enjoy it. But we'd still come back to it now and then. It was a weird, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's all like Double Dragon, like you kind of regret, you kind of regret it when you play it, but when you leave it alone, it you kind of want to play it again. I don't know. Maybe that's just my weird upbringing. Um, Paper Boy or Paper Girl? Not really much difference between the two. And yeah, the root is the password. Here we go. Unfortunately, it's not two player simultaneous. That would be quite interesting. You could make it like a competition. Like you could throw a paper and then someone else could use, throw a paper to deflect it. Okay, headlines, baby, to mum, bye bye. Okie dokie. And today is Monday, sort of. It's Monday in Games World. And it is a, yeah, it is a very loady game when it loads up different stuff. Uh, do they still paint their houses? I'm not sure. It actually looked like that was going for the window, we got lucky there. Oh, watch out for the devils, or the, the, the flame spewing gargoyles. But if you get too, yeah, there we go. Such a friendly neighbourhood. Ooh, nearly got murdered. Oh, just give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, I honestly have no idea because I don't know what the SD port looks like. <laughs> and we just hit a ghost, by the way, with our, with our paper. Is there a burglar around? No, there isn't. Oh, <laughs> the green hand got in the way of us uh, delivering our paper. Oh, that was a bit mean. Ah, ah, monster truck! God damn it, forgot about that. What do you mean that's a tempted murder? <laughs> it kind of is. There's a, a lot of monster trucks in this place. Uh, was that shooting the cannon at the boy? I mean, it was the 90s. We get away with stuff like that. You know, just like a warning shot. And then this time he actually hit us. You know, you get like, beware of the dog signs. It's like, beware of the cannons. <laughs> Thank you. 
Actually, wasn't there something on the news where some people thought it was like illegal or wrong to um, have dog warning signs in their neighbourhood? So, what exactly are we supposed to do about that? Take away the signs and let the dogs rip at your throat <laughs> if you approach them. It's like, what the hell? I don't know. I don't know the reason why. Like, maybe they were worried that it would, like, scare off some people in the community. Just dumb. We didn't coddle, like, no, we didn't. Well, we did coddle them, but it was with cannonballs. Uh, okay, oh, unfortunately, just the one cancelled subscription. Sewer monster. Didn't we stop the sewer monster? But we thwarted him with newspaper. just got incinerated. This is actually really challenging because you got to survive the whole week. And as long as you deliver one paper successfully, you're okay. I think you do get extra lives in this, but they're very difficult to get. I think you can get a high enough score. Not sure exactly how much though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, luckily if the paper lands by the door, that's good as well. Where's that red car? There he is. Is the burglar here this time? Yes, he is. There we go. So I hit us on the corner of the head as a pain. Just like Bobby and Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not too good with uh, hot temperatures, uh, I have a joke, it's, uh, yeah, at least it's a lot cooler now, thank goodness. It's just... Just sometimes it's a bit muggy. So hopefully it stays that way in August, we shall see. Oh my god, 30, are you... 35? How the hell are you... Uh, forget, yeah, forget about me surviving, how the hell are you surviving, man? It's bonkers. Saturday will be the only cold day with 20, 29 still. That's mental. Yeah, that's just... I mean, there's warm and then there's hot and then there's just straight up uncomfortable. <laughs> That's more clear, okay. I do quite like the assault course. Although even saying that, I think the assault course in um, Paperboy 1's a bit more lively. Because I think they were done by different companies, Paperboy 1 and 2. Mindscape did two, not sure what did one. Was one high tech maybe?
And they've got a very cheerful um, audience members there. They probably were looking at phones. Also, they look they look very like they look like very large people. Great, now we've got to survive uh, Wednesday through to Sunday with one life. That's not going to happen. Hose above, uh, hose beaver fine. Complain. I quite like stuff like that. Like what you do in the game is kind of recognised on headlines. Mind you, didn't it usually hails us as a hero if we stop a rubber? Good to know that priorities lie. <laughs> Good to know where priorities lie in this game. Hosed Baver is apparently more important than us stopping a thief. That's actually very reminiscent of today's world. Okay. I mean, <laughs> they still receive their paper. So I think we stay on the edge. Because, yeah, they. Oh no, it's the wrong one. Damn it. Oh, is that going into the window? Yup. <laughs> we are very good at doing that. Temperature and life are keeping you busy. Fair enough. I mean, it does give you an excuse to eat ice cream. Not that one is needed, or rather an excuse to eat more ice cream. I think the ghost gets a bit faster every time. What's that? Why am I, why am I going to lose all my subscriptions? Oh, I thought you... Sorry, I realised what you meant. What you meant like on Twitch. Because <laughs> you're probably right on both accounts. That's a cancelled subscription. They deserve to have their windows smashed. Oh, there we go. We managed to didn't fire out a cannon this time. Yeah, if you fail to deliver a single paper, then it's a game over. So it's kind of lenient in that regard. Wow. Disapprove of that. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Yeah, we made it. Oh no! These guys throw yellow balls at us. Oh, is that going in the? Whoops! I don't know if that counts. Because we smashed his window in, but we also delivered the paper. Yeah, it's amazing where the mind goes. We think subscriptions immediately think of Twitch. I was going to say, at least, at least until the Friday. Oh, you wish it was warmer in your area? Yeah, it's a shame that you can't do that with, you know, certain areas like... Just grab your heat and then give it to someone else. Then again, that might cause all sorts of problems.
Yeah, wow, four cancelled this time. Only, was that four left and one life? Oh, there we go. We've got acknowledgement at last. And we look vaguely like Pinocchio with a wig. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, the thing is, I'm not even sure if that's a joke or not. Oh, look, zombies now. Okay, we survived that castle bit, nice. I'm so, I'm so um, intrigued by that lawnmower guy. And you forgot to, uh, where I was to go. Yeah, just nearly got smashed up there. So many evil characters in this game. Oh, that did not hit me. Nonsense. Okay, we we smashed a we smashed a window in retribution though. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? We look very, we look like um, that character from Greece, actually. He's got quite a cool hairstyle. Um, okay, we'll be Paper Girl this time. I mean, it, it could just be a guy with a ponytail. So when Kenny was a paper boy, he was fired for throwing papers through um, people's windows and at dogs. Everybody loves Kenny. Has ST August started already? I have a feeling only one person would be interested. Thank you. 
<laughs> with utter disgust. <laughs> it is quite slow, isn't it? I agree. Oh, I mean that 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 should count. We we delivered the paper. Oh, we ran out. Oh dear. Um. I think it would be cool if there was like a um like a remix for Paperboy. But all the houses belong from belong to other Amiga characters. Like you could see like Super Frog's place where he's just like chilling around. You know, just uh, sipping a bottle of LucasAide. In the hole. Oh yeah, you can you can actually um, throw the paper on the hog, and it actually comes to life. Let's just try that. Throw a paper on the eye. Oh, that that would be cool if you can knock the audience over. Necromantic newspaper. Paperboy guest character. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh, that's, um, okay, why are we covered in spaghetti? No, <laughs> I don't know. Let's just hope that, yeah, we'll just say it's confetti. But yeah, there needs to be a super frog house, a mortal combat house. Then again, this is probably the Mortal Kombat house, the one with the two gargoyles. Now, sometimes you can make this. Ah, not this time though. Guess we were less than accurate. Lives in a Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat characters, I'd imagine. Maybe they have a party every month or two. Oops. Actually, that's fine. Just hoping it doesn't land on a window. Oh yeah. So let's try a name for the hog. There we go. Yeah, it sort of breaks free. <laughs> this is what actually happens in real life. So it makes you wonder if 
he was just roasting him alive? Also, what a surprising coincidence that two people are having a hog roast. Just two houses shy from each other. And we were just playing Magic Land Dizzy recently, weren't we? So we could have like a, a Dizzy household. You could accidentally throw your paper in Dizzy. It just like breaks him in two, and then Daisy just watches on and shot. Yeah, two identical people. I have a feeling that if they met each other, just like face to face, the whole universe will be twisted to a corkscrew. Ah, yeah, you're a resubscriber. So yeah, if you if you get a perfect delivery on the first day, you get an extra life. So yeah, someone else resubscribes, nothing that amazing. Oh, <laughs> broken panes, puzzle police. I wonder who was responsible. Oh. We got a mummy on the loose. That could be Elvira's house, actually. Oh well. Yeah, there goes one description. I'm very good at doing that. Sorry, <laughs> I just had a silly thought. I mean, people should. I think people still do that sort of thing, you know, like throw newspapers at houses and stuff, like, you know, express delivery sort of thing. They should do that with takeaways as well. Like with, um, if you're delivering pizzas, like here's your pizza, you just like flip, you don't even fling the box with the pizza inside, you just fling the pizza. Oh my god, that's a bit vicious. Or like a Chinese takeaway, here you go, you just throw all this rice at them. And woe to the person who orders a very fancy television monitor. <laughs> I like to think that the paper for it just like stops temporarily just to like luz this entire monitor just to see it smash into a gazillion pieces. Or oh, is that Deliveroo? Yeah. What a van do we are. Also, that van was waiting for us. I 
I see you, paper girl. Quick, accelerate. Also, I like how there's a van just called Meats. That's pretty cool. Not many left. What's that? One, two, three, one, and four in the other. Yeah, always stir in the far left with the haunted house. Because um, if the mummy or the ghost doesn't get you, sometimes the uh, crow suddenly strikes. And when he does, it's impossible to avoid. We've given the thief something to read. Oh wow, nearly saved the baby. that one paper girl actually but uh Inscimator, hello how you doing yeah they might make expert hit and runs so <laughs> going up breakneck speed throwing i know paper and rock all over the place
guessing there's nowhere left that uh, paper delivered like these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've lost another subscription. Will we have enough for the rest of the week? A hundred dollars every week. That's really good. Was it a massive neighborhood? Let's go say this way. Maybe I should be a paper boy. Oh, that is a super fast ghost. And that's so that's going back in the eighties. That that makes it more even more than surprising to get a hundred dollars a week. Like, I thought again a hundred dollars was you know super generous even in these day then even in this day and age. But I don't know, I guess times have changed. I guess nowadays people would reluctantly be a paper boy and whilst they were in the middle of their delivery they would complain on TikTok. I can't believe I have to work 20 minutes a week. Yeah, I do like the um I do like the chaos in this game. Still on the surface a bit slow. It's kind of interesting to compare this one to the original because I know Paperboy 1 didn't it wasn't it there wasn't really much of a play area. I think it was all actually focused on the left side, wasn't it? But they kind of made it more cheerful with some, I don't know, some happy music and it's a little bit faster. Uh, what's, the, what's the name? Neil Labate? I'm not sure. Not sure what you mean. Oh, there we go. We finally get an extra life. So it's at every 50,000. Oh, yeah, I think they were done by two different companies. Uh, Paperboy 2 was Mindscape. Um, yeah, I'm not sure of the other one. And yeah, we still haven't figured out the mystery why she is still covered in yellow spaghetti.
Oh, wow. That ghost is super, super, super quick. I think they're even... Oh, whoops. They're... I think that was my resubscriber. <laughs> well, we'll try... We'll try it out one time. I was like, oh, God. There goes another window. <laughs> I think sometimes the ghosts can even get quicker than that. Where it gets to a point where you have to hit the ghost with, with the newspaper. Otherwise, it'll just, like, catch up to you. Oh, I think they're supposed to be sewer monsters. You just see their arms, uh, yeah, rising up. Oh, no thief. Got quite lucky with the cannons. Can I pause this? Yes, I can. can actually attack the arm with the newspaper. Unfortunately it just it just sort of like freezes into place. It would have been nice to see a bit more animation in the game. Like when you knock on a lot of targets they just sort of freeze their animation. Like you got people doing like keep fit exercises and they just sort of like freeze into uh freeze into place. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, that's a that's like a bad house anyway, because they're like trying to you know make you lose a life by throwing tires at you. So by doing stuff like that, you actually get points. Um, if you do it in a good house, I'm not sure if it takes points away or not. Like, I'm not sure if you deliver the paper successfully and then at the same time smash in one of their windows. I'm pretty sure that would, um, you know, cancel their subscription. It would make sense, but I don't know for sure. Dog leash law considered. Thank you, Daily Sun. And we are on the Sunday. <laughs> Just keep it together. Yep, we are, I mean, we're delivering paper. We're delivering papers every single day. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so that will give us evil points. <laughs> so they don't take... They don't take into account unless you, like, um, you know, beat the day and go into the, ob uh, the obstacle course. Again, lucky with the cannons. Okay, well, how about that? We actually survived the whole week, and I only lost a, I only lost one life. Mind you, I sort of know a lot of the, um, you know, the houses off by heart. Like, if we, like, I feel like the trick to avoiding some of the houses would be just to like stay on the very far edge of them. Now with the haunted house, just go as left as possible. Because if you move a little bit closer, uh, the crow, I think it is, is more eligible to just like swoop down on you. And basically, yeah, there goes one life straight away. So what I'm trying to say is I have played this game too. Gotta love that finished flag that doesn't animate. But that's no, cool, because um, well, we've got about 10 minutes to go, and now we can check out the... Was it Middle Road is next? There you get a little nice password as well. Okay, here we go. So we do get to see one or two new houses as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, there you go. It's even loading different graphics. Whoa, it's a clown. Oh, we've missed him. And a child. 
And a statue with us on it for some reason. That wasn't a bad hit. Oh, the skateboarder got in the way. Oh well, at least we can knock that guy into the pool. Yeah, comical. that one wildly. So, I don't know, if there was one real complaint about the game, it's just that it feels a little bit too on the slow side. Other than that, it's alright. I'd say it's above average, just about. You know, there's a nice bit of variety here. Can get a little bit grindy at times. But, yeah, overall it's not bad. Be interesting to uh, check out the first Paperboy actually, because I haven't played that one too frequently. I think the first one is more identical to the first one on the NES, which I think was similar to the arcade. Ah, there was, I just noticed the cancel subscription in the middle. Um, I think that was one of the houses that we, um, you know, delivered, but also smashed his window in. So that's interesting. That's, that's kind of cool that that counts. Kind of makes sense. It's going to be a good show if it lands. Nice. So we've got here, we've got the merry-go-round. 
got whatever that is. Splosh. Hit a bunch of cans. Yay, that was a fun outing of the circus. Okay, let's actually, let's drive in the middle because I've got plenty of lives. Let's see if he will swoop, swoop. No, he doesn't swoop down. Okay. I thought the hawk would, or rather the crow would attack us. dodgy hit detection there. So let's go to the right, let's see if there's anyone there. Oh wow, uh, <laughs> one person, looks like he's on his, I'm going to say he's on his phone. Or he's playing a LCD game, perhaps. Am I giving the sprites too much credit? Oh wow, a perfect delivery. Okay, and it looks like we are just about up on the hour. So yeah, that was Paperboy 2. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And I guess I'll have to see you guys on the Friday. So until then, Heroin Paper Girl stops thief and we are out.